Birds flying high. You know what I feel. What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a drone hyperlapse. Cue the intro. Today, like I said, I'm going to show you how to do a drone hyperlapse. Now there are three things you need to do this drone hyperlapse. The first thing you need is, of course, a drone. Okay, I'm gonna be using the DJI Mavic Pro today. The second thing you need to consider is weather conditions. Now, what do I mean by weather conditions? In order to do this smoothly, you need less wind possible. Because if you have too much wind, when the drone is moving, it's gonna shake too much or move too much and you're not gonna get a smooth hyperlapse, okay? Now, the third thing you need to consider is having enough batteries. I mean, 100% batteries on your drone on your controller and on your phone okay so i'm gonna start up the drone now and show you the settings you need to put in to do this drone hyperlapse okay okay the first thing you want to do is dial in the settings you want to use to take the photos click on the settings of your camera the m and then you're gonna go to the second tab click on photo and go to timed shots now you're gonna see on my screen i have five seconds 7 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, and 30 seconds. Those are the intervals. I'm going to take raw photos, so that's why it's going to start at 5 seconds or give me the option to do intervals of 5 seconds and so on. If you want to take JPEG, it's going to start at 2 seconds, 3 seconds, and then 5 seconds. Okay, Consider, uh, keep that in mind when you're going to take these photos. If you want to do JPEG, you can do intervals of 2 seconds and 3 seconds. When you do raw, you can only do intervals of 5 seconds and so on. I'm going to do five seconds and then i'm gonna put my image size at four three image for my raw white balance i have it at 5200k you can do whichever white balance you want because it's photo it doesn't really matter uh, color i have normal and style i have none the third tab i always put my histogram on so i can see the exposure so i can get the exposure right and the first tab i'm gonna put it now at 100 iso because it's during the day and my shutter speed i'm gonna check it when i'm in the air check the um, shutter speed first and then i'm gonna start taking these photos when we're in the air we're gonna uh, click on the controller icon on the left here and swipe right or left and you're gonna see point of interest that's the option that we're gonna use the point of interest option I'm gonna fly over to the front of this plantation house so I can set the shutter speed right and my settings and then I'm gonna show you how you can take the photos for the drone hyperlapse. Okay, as you can see, it's pretty overexposed when it's in front so I'm gonna set my exposure right and think 1500 is okay. Not too overexposed, not too underexposed. I think this one is pretty okay. Make sure I focus. You're gonna have to click on the controller icon, like I said, and go to point of interest. Click OK. And then you have to record a point of interest first. So you're gonna have to fly above. In my case, I'm gonna have to fly above this plantation house to record the point of interest first. And then I can start, let the drone fly, make an orbit around it to take the photos. So I'm gonna fly to it now. Click on record point of interest and then you can apply the radius. So I'm going to fly away from the plantation house to set a radius. Make sure you're not too close or not too far because if the footage is not smooth and you're going to stabilize it, it's going to crop. So make sure you have room for in case of you have to crop. I think in this case, 60... 65 meters radius is enough i'm gonna put it on on an altitude of 20 meters so i'm sure i'm not gonna hit anything in the process okay when you're done you're gonna hit apply and you're gonna it's gonna start moving as you can see it's moving to the right with a speed of 3.2 kilometers per hour you can hide this window right bottom corner and then click on the photo or here 
and it's gonna start taking photos every five seconds. One, and it took a photo. Five, four, three, two, one, and it took a photo again. So it's gonna fly around this plantation house and every five seconds it's gonna take a photo. Okay guys, now for the fun part, I'm gonna load the pictures on the computer and show you how to edit your drone hyperlapse. To import your photos to make your hyperlapse, make sure you click in this box right here in the import media to start, hit command I, then click on your first photo. I have drone photo number one. Click option and then make sure image sequence is checked and then hit import. You're gonna get one file with all your pictures as a sequence. I'm gonna make a new sequence, file, new sequence, and then hit settings. I'm gonna make sure I have 1920 by 1080. Time base, 24 frames per second or 23.976 uh, frames per second. You can change the name to hyper lapse drag your drone photo file to the timeline hit keep existing settings so it keeps that aspect ratio of 1080p hit the effects control scale it down in my case i'm going to scale it to 49 percent hit i and o for in and out and then hit sequence render into out okay it's rendered out so as you can see in the middle right here it seems like it glitches so it jumps it goes back and then keeps moving forward it's because the wind pushed the drone back and it flew forward to continue the orbit around the plantation house you can right click on the clip search for nest nest sequence one hit ok so you can nest the clip and then go to the effects tab search for warp stabilizer it's under the distort folder drag it to your clip it's gonna analyze and stabilize the footage okay after it's done analyzing and stabilizing the footage and you render the footage out you hit play this is what you're gonna see as you can see it's not moving really smooth so what I'm gonna do is crop it after it gets a little shaky right here I think yeah so it's gonna start at a later point and like that it looks a little more smooth you can smooth this out by clicking here where it says smoothness 50% you can increase the smoothness but you're gonna get more crop what you can also do is copy this clip Go to the end of the first clip, paste it, right click on the second clip, nest clip, because I want to reverse this clip and you can't use warp stabilizer and speed and duration on the same clip. So I have to nest this next clip, and then right click on the second clip, go to speed and duration, hit reverse speed. I'm going to render this sequence out, export this clip and this. It's what it looks like. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. And if you did, I would appreciate if you hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. I'm going to put it in the description box. And I'll see you guys next week in the next Tutorial Tuesday. Bye guys.